It is a story that's already creating a buzz on social media after a Somerset County cashier thwarts a would-be robber with bug spray. Yeah, that's right. The whole thing was caught on camera, and that cashier telling us she wasn't nervous at the time. She was angry. And she spoke with Maria Miller this afternoon. Maria, what did she tell you? Yeah, while well, Marty and Jen working the night shift, Annabelle Miller usually sleeps during the day, but she had a hard time doing that this morning. After watching that video for herself, she admits it's kind of funny, but says at the time she just did what she needed to do. What began as a typical Sunday night shift at CSI Coalfield Mini Market in Berlin became anything but for Annabelle Miller after a woman wearing a mask came through the front door. And that's a heads up anyway. And then she throws this black bag on the counter and tells me, put the money in the bag. And I'm like, what? And so she says it again. And I was like, excuse me? Without thinking twice, Annabelle armed herself with the closest thing in her reach, a can of Raid bug spray. Then she waited, and what happened next was all caught on camera. She just stood there and then started walking out the door, and I kept spraying her she was walking. Authorities argue what Annabelle did may not have been the best move. They say it's never smart to confront someone who could be armed. But Annabelle says that's the exact reason why she did what she did. When she pulled her hands back towards herself, I didn't know if she had anything on her, and I was, wasn't letting her get to it first. I just got mad. I have better things to do with my night than that. The store itself has been in Berlin under the current ownership for a little more than a decade. It's the only store in the area that's open around the clock as a convenience for the community. And Annabelle says she doesn't want what happened Sunday to change that. We don't have problems here at Night Journal. I mean, we have the occasional drunks, but no one's ever been out of line. I like it. I like working cat eye. She, I don't think she's coming back. Now, Annabelle Bell describes that woman as having a deep voice, long brown hair, and thick brown eyebrows. She says she also wouldn't be surprised if the woman might have some burns on her face. If you think you know who that woman is or you have any information on this incident, you're asked to call state police at the Somerset Barracks. Reporting live, Maria Miller, 6 News.